UAE president orders emergency aid to earthquake hits Turkey as the death toll tops 200. Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi receives Palestinian president. And Etihad Railway and Adnoc sign an agreement on a 266-kilometer rail line. This is 7 National News and in our top story, UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan has ordered a number of humanitarian foundations and authorities in the UAE to organise emergency aid to earthquake hit Turkey. The eastern part of the country was struck by a 7.2 magnitude earthquake on Sunday evening and has killed hundreds and injured thousands. The UAE President has also sent a cable of condolences to Turkey's President Abdullah Gul over the loss of lives that has hit the towns of Van and archers and we'll have more on that story later on in the bulletin and in more news, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, has received the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas and the accompanying delegation currently visiting the country. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed welcomed the Palestinian President and reaffirmed the UAE's support under the leadership of President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan for the Palestinian Authority's efforts to realise the aspirations of the Palestinian people in establishing its independent state. The two sides underline the importance of achieving just and comprehensive peace in order to establish security and stability in the region. The Palestinian president arrived in Abu Dhabi yesterday evening on a two-day visit. In the age of globalization and proliferation of electronic media and information, UAE officials are concerned the national identity within the UAE is being compromised. The National Media Council, under the patronage of His Excellency Sheikh Hamdan bin Mubarak al Nahyan, held a media and national identity forum with the aim to address concerns surrounding upholding national identity. Today's events united officials, experts, researchers and media professionals who collectively raised awareness of the importance and preservation of nat national culture. In the national identity, media, globalization, these, these aspects are very important because we are living in a cosmopolitan society. Everybody is just uh, now, nowadays they are feeling that there is an effect for the new media, specific new media and the old media also, that it might affect the values and the, the, the religion of this part of the world. There is a concern that the national, uh, these new media social media that might affect the people so enlighten them about what's going on around the Arab world and the, the, the young people they might just raise their voice and, and this I think there are the dual message in that one the first message is that the this new media the social media it will affect the people from here and there and also it's how to use it for the benefit of the people of, and the values of this part of the world the forum coincides with the beginning of the UA Nation's 40-day program of celebrations, honouring 40 years as a modern and progressive nation. The growing support for small and medium enterprises is spanning all sectors. The latest to extend a lending hand to SMEs is the Dubai Courts. At an event, officials announced that they will soon establish a headquarters for the Centre of Amicable Settlement of Disputes in the Business Village to cater to businesses and allow them to optimise on a variety of services offered. This is expected to further encourage more investors to set up shop in Dubai. The establishment of the new headquarters for the Centre of Amicable Settlement of Disputes at the Business Village is welcome news to many businesses. Small and medium enterprises in particular are expected to benefit from this one-stop shop that aims to deliver fast, accurate and cost-effective settlement of disputes for companies registered in Dubai. What happens if there is a dispute between two people, uh, they can go through the centre and uh, have an agreement without going through lawyers, without going through appeals, without going through uh, all the hassles and the time consuming because for business people time is money and, uh, and, and uh, money is important for them. In addition, Dubai courts officials say they expect to see a rise in the number of disputes that will be settled by the centre once it opens. Various incentives are also set in place to encourage prompt settlements and promote better relations in the business community. We'll provide them a service uh, of mediations which will give them an incentive of getting back or fee to be uh, refunded by 50% of the fees paid 
for the uh, registrations of the of the courts. Uh, this is also will be uh, another point to be mentioned, which is uh, the, the disputes settled without uh, reconciling uh, a lawyers uh, or a legal consultants, which is also another uh, cost which will be saved for the SMEs. SMEs account for 95% of all businesses in the Emirate and 42% of the workforce as well as 40% of the GDP. According to the Dubai SME, this new centre will also introduce a host of other services in future that will complement the sector's growth. The number of businesses that have been registering has been increasing by around 15%. And uh, this will help the existing businesses really uh, to ease up uh, their disputes. And I think it will uh, help us at, as Dubai and as the United Arab Emirates in our ranking when, uh, when it comes to the ease of doing business. Dubai SME officials say businesses and investors can look forward to more initiatives that will simplify the processes involved in starting and growing a company in the city. Various initiatives will soon be rolled out to further support as well as encourage more investors since SMEs are engines for economic growth. Mirna Nassar with Khadija Sali, 7 National News. Medical experts in the capital are urging people to seek advice and to be more vigilant when buying over-the-counter drugs that can sometimes lead to poisonous side effects. Leaders in the field warn that the wrong dosage or combination of over-the-counter drugs can lead to severe organ failure. They also pressured pharmacists to fully explain proper dosages to those who buy medicine. During the Abu Dhabi Medical Conference 2011, Dr Yasser Sharif, the head of medication and medical product safety at the Health Authority, in Abu Dhabi stated that there is a trend towards self-medication in the UAE which must be looked at. He said that acetaminophens, which are similar to paracetamol, are the most commonly abused OTCs, adding that poisonous symptoms can take up to two days to show. Statistics show that there were 24 cases of OTC overdosing in the capital, 10% of overall poisoning cases reported. Alain police have revealed that 14 men have been arrested for trying to illegally enter the country. Seven of the illegal immigrants were from Pakistan and the other seven were from Bangladesh who were caught in the Manama Mountains on the UAE-Oman border. This is now the second large-scale arrest this month as 19 people were arrested two weeks ago along the same route. Police are appealing to the public not to employ illegal immigrants as it encourages criminals into the Emirates. And looking to news abroad now, fears are growing for hundreds of people unaccounted for in the eastern Turkey 7.2 magnitude earthquake, which is reported to have killed more than 260 people, a number that is expected to rise. Turkey's Minister of Interior gave figures of around 100 dead in the city of Van and 117 in the town of Arches, with a total of more than 1,000 injured. Turkey's Prime Minister, who visited the disaster scenes, has said the figure of those trapped in debris was unknown and hundreds of people are still unaccounted for. Rescue workers toiled through the night to locate and dig out trapped people, helped by bystanders, as survivors huddled around fires in freezing nighttime temperatures. And Thailand's capital braced for more flooding today as water levels rose in some of Bangkok's northern suburbs. Workers raced to fortify defence walls pr to protect Bangkok's old airport, Don Wang, which was turned into the relief and evacuation centre for over 3,000 flood victims from neighbouring provinces. Authorities have taken measures to divert floodwaters, but the capital was on tender hooks because of the possibility of heavy rainfall into canals and rivers already full to the brim. The full force of the flooding has hit central provinces and those on the edge of Bangkok, where water levels have reached as high as three metres. Thailand's worst flooding in half a century has killed 356 people and affected 2.46 million, with water covering an area the size of Kuwait. And up next, we have today's business news, so stay with us.